video six, the sixth string. If you've gotten this far, you're to be congratulated for going through the whole thing. Now we're now we're learning all six strings. And uh, as I said in the very first video, there's nothing you'll do more important than just simply getting acquainted with with the strings. Now, so in, I'm going to do something a little different than I've done in the rest of them. I'm going to put put all six strings up. Now that we've got through all six, all six strings, I'm going to give you a little graph of all six and at the end of this video I'm gonna give you a full-blown picture of it so you might want to just pause and and review and study all your strings you can always use that to study your strings uh, I'd like to also mention if you find this these videos helpful I really appreciate if you subscribe and and maybe like because that's that's how I can tell if, if uh, what people like if you if you like these videos then it'll just want to inspire me to do more and uh, also, in the playlist in the end, not only will you find all the videos in this series, there are other videos I've created that teaches you other ways to learn the, the notes up and down the, the neck. So, so be sure to check all those out because there's a lot of different approaches to learning the, the notes on the fretboard. So, uh, the sixth string is easy because, guess what? It's the same as the first. So the sixth string and the first string are the, are the same. So. Whatever you did on the first string applies to the sixth string. We have, we have the, first of all, we have our semitones from E to F, open to one. We have a semitone from B to C, from the seventh to the eighth. So now we've, we've got the natural scale. We've got E is open, first fret is F, G is on the third fret, A is on the fifth, B is on the seventh, C is on the eighth, D is on the tenth, and E is on the twelfth. You're descending, E on the 12th, D is on the 10, C is on the 8, B is on the 7, 5 is A, 3 is G, F is 1, E is open. Just like the first string. So you can do all this. We're not, I'm not going to go through all the exercises like we have on all the other five strings, but it's because it's the same as the first string. I'd like to thank you for hanging there. Again, I'd like to say congratulations because you're on the way to really getting familiar with the fretboard. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. I'll be glad to get back to you.